Well, it's snowing again, so it's a good time to go jump up on the roof, check out the Starlink dish, see how much snow's on top, and uh, run some more speed tests. I also wanted to, to uh, take a look at the old uh, satellite dishes. I have some over here on another roof, and wanted to, to show how much snow is, is sitting on those uh, before we, we go take a look at the, the Starlink dish. So right on over here, we've got two of them, two old ones, and uh, they definitely don't so solve the snow problem. There's plenty of so snow sitting on them. So let's go see how uh, Starlink handles it. So it's it's coming down pretty good. Um, lots of cloud cover in the sky and the question is is it the snowflakes blocking the snow or is it the the clouds or is it just the snow that sits on the dish and I am curious to how much snow is sitting on the dish right now it's been snowing for a good hour or so so far you can see how much snow's on the ladder here I had some people critique my last video and said the ladder should be a few rungs above the, the roof line. Gives you something to grab onto when you get to the top. I think that makes sense. All right. A little bit of snow on this flat roof. Also, I didn't mention this in a previous video. This roof is going to be replaced it's a, uh, it doesn't make sense. It, it just holds snow. So some trusses will be put up here and fix that problem. And that's why I wasn't overly concerned with how I installed the cable on the roof. Wow, it looks really good this time. So this is about an hour of snow and it's coming down maybe a little lighter than last time. And the dish is performing really well. I mean, it's it's got beads of water on it. Uh, but no, no real snow that's sitting on it. No ice. So yeah, that's, that's looking real good. I like how that looks. So we'll go inside and test it out. See, see what, how the, the speeds are and how, how uh, good the connection is. Up till now, the connection has been really good. I have used the Starlink software to um, verify that it's got clear line of sight to the sky and it does the tree does show up just at the bottom uh, of of where the, the sky is it hits maybe that much of the tree uh, and then it also has clear sky I can, I can show you that here in a second let's open up the Starlink app and check for obstructions so let's tilt my phone up and you can see that the tree is definitely, I've got the phone right where the satellite dish is. There it is. And you can see it definitely is hitting the tree as far as where the circle is. Mostly clear sky, but the tree is in the way and I haven't had a problem. So looks like you have some room to fudge on that. Um, so yeah, let's go down. I'm just curious, while I'm up here, I hear my kids. I wonder if I can spy on them. Oh, they're there, hiding behind the trees. This would be a good spot to throw snowballs at them. <laughs> I could hide behind the wall here, peek over and hit them with snow. They're doing the right thing though, playing in the snow. That's what they should be doing. Okay, time to go inside. Well, I left my computer in the RV, so I'm gonna go over and 
grab that from my wife and then we can run the test. Kids are still playing. the small amount of time it took me to shoot the snow uh, it, it kind of let up it's still blustery out and there's still plenty of cloud cover but uh, the snow I mean it's it's not really coming down so we can run a speed test and just see what it looks like with uh, with some cloud cover a little bit of flurries and uh, show that okay there's a small amount of water up on the dish um, so let's run a speed test. I'm using fast.com this time around. Looks like it's plenty fast. So I'd say with cloud cover, and this has been my experience so far using it. I mean, Starlink has been super um, reliable. Um, even though they set the expectations of in the beta, it was going to be coming up and down a lot. I'm not, I'm not seeing that. So 84 megabits, water up on the dish, lots of cloud cover. Uh, so latency of 35 milliseconds, unloaded, loaded, 140. So, I mean, that's decent. I mean, <laughs> truthfully, that's great for out here where I am. I mean, I'm, comparing to a city, that, that's decent. Um, upload speed, 13 megabits. So, yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. Let's try, uh, oops. Let's try speedtest.net. So 32, that's consistent. Maybe a little faster on speedtest.net. Yeah, that's a little faster. See where the upload is. Uploads faster as well. And tapering off a little. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's try uh, let's try a Google speed test. Now that's interesting. So definitely, I mean, that was that was significantly slower. I don't know if they're prioritizing certain traffic over other traffic, but that's my first. The latency was better, but that was my first uh, thought there. And now we're we're going a little faster, up to fifty. Still, that's half half the speed of what I was getting on the other speed test. Uploads a little better. Huh. All right, let's go back to uh, let's refresh this one and see if see if I'm getting slower speeds now. Okay, as a whole, I'm getting slower speeds. It looks like so maybe maybe a cloud moved. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> Or maybe the sat satellite moved a little bit. Connection isn't as good. Starting to speed up though. I'll do one more speed test. Oh, ping's higher that time. And yet the speed's a lot higher too. I'm gonna just restart that one. I'll try one more time. I'm gonna let the ads load first. Okay, they're loaded. 
There we go. So it may just be that it was pulling down the ads at the same time it was doing a ping. That's my guess. So, I mean, I'm getting a little slower speeds today. Uh, some would expect it with the cloud cover and, and a little bit of flurry of snow uh, and, and water on the dish. Uh, but it's still completely usable. Uh, so I, I, I've been very happy with uh, Starlink internet up to this point. All right, there you have it. Well, the snow came back, so now we can run some more tests with uh, with snow. It's been snowing for about a half an hour, and I think I'll jump up on the roof one more time here and just, again, take a look at what the dish looks like uh, with, with this amount of snow coming down. And it is mostly melted off there, or all melted off. I mean, it's just water. Lots of water sitting on the dish, um, but no, no snow. So it's it's doing a good job of melting everything that's hitting it. And you can see it's definitely sticking on other surfaces where it's snowing, uh, but not not on the the dish. It's it's melting off and, and rolling off. So let's go run that test. All right, time for some more speed tests with it snowing outside. <clears throat> it's definitely slowed down a little. I mean, I'm not, I'm not getting the 50 to 100 that I typically get on most days. Uh, let's look at more info. The ping is a little higher. Upload speed is still running. Upload is about where it normally is. Still running. Okay, so 14 for that one. Let's go to speedtest.net, run a test again, let the ads load, go. Looks like it starts off a little better and then kind of tapers down. Ping is ping is decent. I mean, especially given snow conditions. I mean, this is all really good speeds given snow conditions. And given other options that I have out here, there, there really is no, nothing that compares to Starlink uh, in the area that I'm in. So these are incredible speeds as far as I'm concerned. Um, Speed test on Google. That's about the same. Kind of starts off higher, tapers down a little bit. Upload looks slow. Upload was definitely slower that time. Latency was about the same. Just taking a look back here. Yeah, upload was definitely slower. Um, let's go ahead and run a, uh, a ping test over time. It'll graph the ping over time here. And I'll just let this run. Um, it takes a few minutes to fill up the screen. Uh, and I'll probably fast forward it so you don't have to wait for it. Well, there you have it. A couple minutes in, uh, connection looks pretty stable as far as I'm concerned. And I mean, it, it did, the pings did spike up a little bit, uh, but, but not bad given the current weather conditions. Um, right before I did this test, I was on a, a 
conference call, um, and I definitely had some glitches and disconnects uh, during the call, and I ended up calling in via phone uh, instead of doing it over the internet. Um, so, I mean, it looks more stable now, uh, but I have noticed at times that the connection, it almost, it's like it interrupts, it, it stops for a second, and then it, it reconnects. Um, so, I don't know if that's the, the snow or if it was just uh, by chance. 